and perhaps if I could ask you just a couple of questions that you can then share with all of us. Um, when you were mapping out your future, uh, what was it that inspired you to take the path that you did? Well, can I first say that it's an honour for me to be here. It's, it's such a wonderful night, as you said, and everyone's had so much fun, so... And it was very exciting at, at certain parts as well, so... Um, so I've had a ball, so thank you very much for having me. Um, I guess to answer the question, I, 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 what, what inspired me, I suppose, was... Um, it, was a, it, was, it was a social justice thing, which, which we've seen tonight, all the young people really manifesting that in spades. And, and I, I actually... When I was doing medicine, I, I realised, I suppose, that the mentally ill, people with mental ill health, were getting such a raw deal. And, um, you know, that's still the case in Australia today, which is why um, we're still working on the, this issue very strongly. And, but we are getting somewhere. We're really making some progress. So um, I, I guess that was the reason. And it's, it's a way that um, I think if you're going to feel good about your life, um, you have to be somehow committed to other people um, in some in some shape or form, and these young people tonight have really manifested that, in, as I say, in spades. That's great. And can you tell us what your most memorable achievement is to date? Well, it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Still to come. Uh, and uh, that is, we, I, I want to see a fair deal for people with mental health, ill health in Australia, and that's coming very soon. And finally, what advice uh, for the future would you give these amazing young people that we've heard and seen tonight? Well, I actually learned something from watching them, so I wouldn't really presume to give them advice, except you have to believe, to believe in, in something and um, follow that belief. I think there's all sorts of other... There's a lot of talented people in the world, but um, to believe, to find what you believe in and just follow that belief um, and... and really persevere with it because you're going to get major setbacks. There are, as they say, there are 20% of people that are against everything all the time and, and you're going to come up against those people, but don't listen to them, just walk past them. Can I thank Professor McGorry for taking time out of his extremely busy schedule. You might not be aware, but he's told me that he actually left Canberra at 5 a.m. this morning. So he's certainly on a different time uh, zone to us and to have been here all night and to be part of such a special celebration is absolutely fantastic. So if I could ask for another round of applause for Professor McGorry. Thank you.